I have imagined all the possibilities before coming here for the talk until last week that I'll be coming here on a wheelchair. I met with an accident a week back on the New Year Eve and postponed my surgery because I strongly wanted to share my observations on the learning path of human beings. A question for all, how you have decided your domain of graduation, how you have decided or you will be deciding that whether you want to get into science, engineering, medical, arts, how? Let me guess. These are the three major reasons or factors through which we decide what we really wanted to do. It can be impulsive, it can be influencive or it can be interest. Let me share my story with you. It's quite interesting because I have experienced not just one but three degrees and not able to complete any one of them. Out of those three, engineering is my favorite. I have an Aljair brother who is my inspiration, who is my mentor and who have pursued engineering from one of the finance institute of India. And at that time, I was in my school. My inspiration from my brother as well as my interest developed because of his stories of working in labs, building machines, working on engines. And that's what made me interested that I would also pursue engineering. I went to Kota, one of a hub for engineering entrance exam preparation. Stayed there for three years, attempted two times and failed. Not getting, failed in getting in a private government engineering college, but got a decent private engineering college of India. Within my first month of engineering, I made some critical observations there. Staying in hostel, interacting with first year, second year, all years of engineers. And I observed that the interest and passion was decreasing day by day, semester by semester and from a curiosity mode, students were getting into survival mode. In first year, most of us have this feel that I really want to do something, I really want to contribute to industry, I want to learn that I could make, innovate, research and over the time, students get into an education ecosystem loop where they are focusing only on academics. And by the end of fourth year, everyone prays to get a job and to get a degree. Within first month, after realizing my next four years of engineering, I made a hard decision to drop out. After dropping out from the college, I asked my family to give me four years just to explore and consider I'm graduating. I'm not doing a degree, but I'm experiencing life, experiencing businesses, experiencing ideas and if I am not able to do well, I would love to join the family business. And then what? Next, not just four, next 10 years, I have traveled across three countries. I have traveled on an average 200 days a year, interacted with more than a million students, visited more than 1500 campuses and had some really critical observations that what are the cause of today's education ecosystem, not only in India, but globally. You can see two CVs here, a left Mayank and right Mayank. Left Mayank is an academic geek. He have done great in his schools, he, in schooling. He have done great during his undergraduation. He have scored really good marks. He did projects which were asked in the college to do. He was not able to get into industry for internship because he was more into academics. He did all well but was asked to get a degree. And there's a right man. A right man was an average in studies. But he was pretty much active into various other activities. Into extracurricular, 
projects, internship, skill certifications. And he was always indulging himself into various activities which are apart from his regular academics. Ironically, 80-90% of us are left mind. And we never ever realize that we are doing something wrong. I come to class daily. I come to college daily. I attend all my lectures. I even prepare for my exams and score much more than expected. But still, I'm not a right mind. As a result, 80% of engineers in India are in unemployed. By industry standards, they are unskilled. So what is wrong here? As per my degree, as per my 36 subjects, I'm doing really great. I'm studying everything what I was asked for. But still, I'm being, uh, as per industry, I'm unskilled. Why? What I have observed, that there are, these are three major reasons of this skill gap. One, that students are not even aware that what, what they are doing wrong. Second, that they don't have certain interest or they don't have certain skill set to acquire which industry expect. And third, they don't know worth and value of it. Because as a human tendency, if 90% of my class is into academics and I'm, if I'm doing the same, I'm doing the right thing. I run a survey a couple of months back to understand the ideology of students. What I have done on field in last 10 years, visiting 1500 plus campuses, I try to have it on paper and ask students this one simple question. What do you think that do you need to upskill yourself or your degree is good enough? I didn't expect it that 90% of them would say that they need to upskill. The next question was, if they need to upskill, then what? What all they need? If you see some stats here, 60% of them are looking at, are not even aware what industry expect from them. I know that I need to improve. I need to do something apart from my degree, but I don't know what I have to do and what industry expect from me. The very one major gap and very, very one major root cause of this skill gap. Second, even if I know what industry expect, I don't have resources available in my regular college to acquire those technical skills. I lack in soft, soft, soft skills. I lack in industrial exposures of industry internships. And that is what the root cause is. So, a very big question. If I'm not getting what industry asked me to, I'm not learning what industry requires from me, then is degree important? Should I do a degree or I just go to an institute or a training center where I could just acquire those skills which industry require and get employable? My answer would be that it, it should be a combination of both. If I talk about degree, what degree or college teaches us? It teaches us peer-to-peer -peer led learning. It gives us the access to infrastructure. It makes us into an environment where we could work on deadlines, where we could compete, where we could learn. And on the other hand, the things which are missing in our academics, which are regular undergraduation, are those which can be fulfilled by developing an ecosystem. How great it would be that one, when I enter into my engineering, when I enter into my first year of college, I was widely opened with lot many options to explore. Because if we go back and look into how we choose our engineering, we choose our domain of graduation on the basis of either just an influence or basic interest or by the impulse that everyone is taking computer science, let me also get into computer science. Everyone is getting into arts, my most of the classmates, I'll also get into arts. If I have not even explored what I am interested in, then how would I, how I would able to spend three, four years of my graduation in that? How great would it be that in first year, I would be given options to explore robotics, mechatronics, electrical, mechanical, computer science, 
and then I could decide what I really wanted to do. How great it would be that those industries who are looking for qualified engineers, they could spend some really good time and effort in building real-time en engineers in their particular region. How great it would be if students are getting internships, they are getting projects from industry and they could have real-time access to the data what industry is doing. As per us, and that is what I and my team is building from last 10 years. We are building an ecosystem to bridge industry academia gap, not on the top level, but on the grassroots level. The top level would be that you make your kid to go to a, like we, what we did in schooling, we make them to go into tuitions to acquire those extra skills, to get some good marks. The same way a graduation student can go to a training institute and acquire just the top of the skill, what is required to get a job. On the other hand, we need to work on a grassroots level where we could make students passionate about technology. We could make, develop them area of, their area of interest. They could start working and building on projects which they really want to work on. And that is what we are working these days. Thank you.